Hello everyone, my name is Justice, and I have for you guys a little collective reading. Let me start off today with some oracle messages. We have the orphan. To the venom. To the nectar. Uh, you could have recently started taking a new drug. Uh, we have here at the bottom of the deck the vow. Maybe you could have also taken, when I say a new drug, this could also be recreational, but I mean more so maybe you started taking a new medicine and you're trying to figure out if this is something that's going to work for you. And it's like, uh, maybe it's something that was done against your will. Maybe this is something that like, uh, you got checked into like a psych ward and now you have to take medicine. And you might not be liking the medicine if you're making you have like weird psychic effects. You could be like hearing things or like seeing voices. I am not a doctor, so I'm not gonna really get into that too much. You know what I mean? But uh, we have here the Knight of Wands. So we have the Knight of Wands, to the Emperor, to the Seven of Wands, to the Queen of Wands, <clears throat> to the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, so something around January time, uh, you were with someone who was like in such a motherly energy. Yeah, you like met, you were like meeting with this person who had like such a strong motherly energy. She could have maybe had two children. Uh, for others of you, she could have a black cat or like a bunch of cats and a bunch of children. But uh, the quest you kind of went on with this person was like very jarring, very like drawn out. Uh, you were looking for a lot of healing energy showing up as a divine masculine for this divine feminine and things were moving at like such a quick speed that you found yourself like moving through high dimensional timelines and frequencies you could have been like having sex too much frequent uh frequently and recently as a confirmation for you with the knight of wands coming out here with the venom uh the vow with the venom is kind of saying that with the nectar also it's kind of saying that there's just like so much bittersweetness coming out of this relationship for you. This also resonates deeply with the Nine of Pentacles at the at the bottom. But Spirit is still telling you to take a leap. You're just like trust and faith and remember that uh, no matter what's going on, you can still find yourself not being too much moved around by the unseen forces if you are working with them instead of going against the green and pushing against them. Because they do have more knowledge, more information on, well, the unseen parts of life, you know? You can't expect to be a psychic and be uh, capable of seeing everything forever. We have here the Ten of Swords. Okay, now I'm seeing so you were getting like so blown out by this person sexually. Maybe they're like a porn star or just like a porn addict as well. The Eight of Swords there. Uh, you like couldn't like handle your day-to-day -day work. You couldn't handle life. You were just like stuck. They could have been doing like uh, sex magic, like uh, blood work, like voodoo on you. Especially if you guys were having safe, I mean uh, unsafe sex here. You guys could have met during a retrograde. They could be a fire sign. They could have a cancer sun. If you guys are like same sex, they could be a sexual position that is different than yours, which is why you guys get along with each other. You guys have that balance here. 
the Ace of Cups at the bottom. You have the Eight of Cups. It's like leaving them was the best choice of action. It's like your thoughts mixed with their emotions was just causing a lot of bad things to manifest into your physical reality. Even though at one point it was extremely bountiful here, Spirit is saying that things kind of slowed down, stopped being fun, you stopped being organized. Uh, they were just like good for Jack at a certain point, you know what I mean? And like they had their own like really expansive soul tribe and like uh, their own cults. Maybe you're like naturally into occultism. Maybe you work with a cult and you're not even aware of it. And uh, but so do they. Now here are the Four of Cups to the Two of Wands. It's like when your two worlds collided, it made... this kind of energy where it was kind of just like a fight for balance it's funny that these came out as my birthday so I went through the same experience I'm going to talk a little bit about my experience with these kind of people because that is quite the strong chariot moment from spirit they presented me and the ten of wands coming out to the Hierophant. It's like the stillness like needed for you to... Same for me with like my person who resonates with this energy we've been describing. It's like for you to get like where you are now, like the amount of peace and like patience like provided by spirit that you appreciated and like got to this Ten of Wands. Still took on like more tasks for the rest of your soul group and just like made it home like flawlessly. You know what I mean? It's like uh, you were just looked at in such high regards by spirit. And I think this is video is just going to get cut off there. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about myself. I'll show myself. <laughs> uh, my name is Justice. Uh, I do Akashic Records. I'm a master's of the record. I'm one of the masters of the records. I'm one of the youngest. I'm 22 years old. I live on Long Island, New York, and uh, kind of just make art, make videos, channel for myself, and uh, different things like that every day. So this is me. I also do Reiki with these guys and stuff like that. So if you guys want any divinations, any personal readings, Akashic Records, uh, anything else like that, I'm hearing one of you might be a fan of like Dragon Ball. <laughs> I love Dragon Ball uh, and anime. A whole bunch of different animes, like Soul Eater, Full Moon Alchemist. And, uh, yeah, just to share a little bit about myself. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and this has been Justice. Peace out.